Hello everybody, welcome back to another video with Lim Reviews. Now, I've been using the Nothing Phone 1 here for almost four months now, and I would just like to post a very quick, you know, long-term review so I can share with you how this device has been holding up, is it still worth buying at the end of this year, and of course, how has the performance really improved since I'm not sure if you guys know, but there has been a lot of updates that Nothing has been pushing out to their devices. So today, the experience is completely different from when it was first available. So let's talk a bit about that. Now, first things first, I want to start off by talking about the design. How has this design held up over the past four months? Safe to say, I would say that today, right now at this point, whenever I use the Nothing Phone 1 and I go out and you see the glyph lights going on, I tell you what, a lot of people still ask me what phone is this. Apart from that, I also noticed that a lot of people are actually still trying to get their hands on this Nothing Phone 1 because they still find you know, this LED glyph lighting at the back here very, very cool. So if you just talk about design specifically, I would say that it's still holding up great. Other than that, I myself has really got used to, you know, the lights lighting up and blinking at the back here whenever I get a notification. You do have this very subtle looking, you know, stuff at the bottom here, especially the charging animation as well, which I think looks great and makes this phone still stand out from the very crowded smartphone space. Overall, just in terms of design, I love it and I do not have any complaints about that. Alright, so moving on, let's talk about something a bit more major here because like I said earlier in the video, there has been a lot of updates that nothing has been pushing and one main area that has been really focused on is indeed the cameras. Now just to give you a very quick recap, we do have two sensors at the back here and that basically consists of the 50 megapixel main sensor that comes with OIS and also the 50 megapixel ultra wide. So how has the performance been? Well, I would say that over the multiple you know updates that we have received today, the cameras are actually really really awesome guys. For a mid-range device like this, I would say that the pictures that you can get is actually very close to iPhone levels just in terms of the colors the way the images are reproduced they are very different from all the other android phones out there the pictures coming out from nothing phone one here is actually very close to what you see with your own eyes and again this is something that you would expect to come from an iphone other than that the 50 megapixel allows a lot of detail to be captured in as well the sensors itself are now a bit quicker to capture moving objects overall i think the experience using the nothing phone one as a smartphone photographer is actually quite good all right, so other than that, I noticed that the video capabilities are also quite well. We have the OIS, which I mentioned earlier on to provide that basic stabilization. But again, through the updates, I noticed that it has become more stable and taking videos on the Nothing Phone 1 is actually getting much better. So overall, I would just say that in terms of the camera experience, you are getting a much better experience compared to four months ago when it was just launched. All right, so moving on, let's talk a bit about that performance now. You might have forgotten, but we do have a Snapdragon 778G Plus processor in here, which again, till today, is still a very capable mid-range processor. I would say that, you know, just navigating through applications on the phone itself is super smooth and snappy. Launching apps is also very, very fast. And I think that is very much attributed to how lightweight the Nothing OS is. There is literally no bloatware in the phone itself. Everything that you want to use, you can download it from the Play Store and you get this very smooth kind of OS throughout the entire device. And I love that because again, it's very close to stock Android. Since I'm talking a bit about that user experience, I should also highlight uh, one very cool thing here and that is all about the Nothing Ear Stick. So I've actually covered this, you know, Nothing Ear Stick in a previous video. But what I really like about how the Nothing Ear Stick works is that when it connects for the first time, it automatically has a pop-up on the Nothing Phone itself. So that's the first cool thing there. The second thing here, which is even better, is that all the settings of the Nothing Ear Stick can be found directly in the phone settings itself. So you don't have to go and download a separate app. All you need to do is just hit that, you know, uh, Nothing Ear Stick feature at the top, go into it and you'll be able to find features like adjusting your base, getting different kinds of customized equalizer. You'll be able to customize the gestures that you make to you know, control the ear sticks itself. And of course, you can see your battery lives. Everything is in there and can all be customized in that phone itself. You do not have a separate app for that. Pretty cool stuff there. Um, other than that, uh, just in case you're wondering, the sound is actually quite good. Like I said, it's very unexpectedly good. Full details can be find, found in my review that I did previously. Now back to the phone. 
let's talk a bit about the battery life. How has the battery life been holding up? Well, we do have a 4,500 mAh battery in here. What I like is that the battery life is definitely good enough to hold up the entire day. But what I wished was a little bit faster is the charging speeds. So the Nothing Phone 1 here supports 33 watt fast charge, which does like 0 to 50% in half an hour, but it takes slightly more than an hour to get from 0 to 100%. So a lot of phones are actually a bit more faster today. But yeah, the Nothing Phone 1 here, definitely looking forward to a faster charging speed in their next smartphone. Um, other than that, I would say overall, this is still a very, very good mid-range smartphone to consider if you are looking to purchase a device before the end of the year. The good news here is that Nothing is actually having a sale here in Malaysia. So they are giving away 400 ringgit vouchers if you plan to buy the Nothing Phone 1. And that places the price of this device here down to just RM1999 for the 8 slash 256 GB version. I think it's a great deal here. Uh, the discount is going on from today. It's actually already started and it goes all the way up to the 2nd of January. Other than that, there's also a 10% uh, off the Nothing Ear Sticks. So I think it's like 47 ringgit off. Anyways, uh, I'll put the links down below so you can find out more about that. Again, if you're looking for a really solid, you know, very nice design, clean OS, lightweight OS, no bloatware whatsoever kind of device, you should definitely check out the Nothing Phone 1. With that said, uh, that sums up my long-term review. If you have any further questions or if you would like to add anything, feel free to do so down in the comment section below. Thank you again for watching this video all the way to the end and I look forward to seeing you guys in the next one. Stay safe everybody. Bye!